All right, we are the Sunshine State for yeah, good we're reason. Yeah, we're getting some sunshine back I in the know, forecast. I know, it's awesome. Yeah, we're going to see a good amount of that through the rest of the day. Look for some puffy cumulus clouds in there as well. And we could see a few stray showers and storms as we head into the afternoon. But by and large, especially over the next couple of hours, you're going to look quiet. Temperatures in the mid-80s, although those dew points, once we hit that 70-degree mark, it really starts feeling muggy out there. So it's feeling closer to 90 degrees as you're getting outside this afternoon. And with south winds still in the forecast, we're still pumping in a lot of that moisture. So plan on upper 80s to near 90 this afternoon. We'll hit that mark, especially along and east of I-75 in terms of getting to 90 degrees, and we'll stay just a hair cooler along the coast. So for much of the Bay Area, plan on anywhere from about 86 to 90 for your afternoon highs. And we have to add in humidity to that, so it's actually going to feel a little bit warmer. Plan on heat indices that are going to bobble right between about 92 to maybe getting some 95s in there during the afternoon. So all that means you just got to take some breaks if it does get a little warm toward the afternoon, which for many of us it will, make sure you're finding some shade or at least some, some cool drinks to, to keep those temperatures down. All right, overnight, we don't fall off a whole lot. When we have those higher humidity levels like we do for most of the summer, those temperatures only drop into the range of mid 70s, but we can get some low 70s, even upper 60s up into the nature coast as well as our inland spots tomorrow morning. Let's talk about rain chances. They are there. They're just not going to be widespread, but we'll likely see a couple of showers popping as we head through the next couple of of hours. It's more as we get into 3, 4 o'clock that we're going to start to see more shower activity and even a few thunderstorms in there. But by and large, that's going to be limited to areas east of I-75. Not expecting much activity along the coast, although as a couple of these move farther to the west, maybe around 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we could see a couple of stray showers that try and work their way back to the Gulf. Overall, Pretty quiet for areas west, a little bit more in the way of thunderstorm activity for our inland folks. We've been talking about Hurricane Bud over the last couple of days. It really strengthened overnight. This is now a Category 3 hurricane with winds up to 125 miles per, or 120 rather miles per hour. This is going to weaken a little bit as it moves toward the north, and this will bring some moisture back to parts of the southwest, but no immediate threats to the mainland U.S. For us, our rain chances are going to go up a little bit as we head toward the end of the week, but overall plan on limiting our rain chances for the Bay Area for areas west of I-75. And then you'll see as we get through your seven-day forecast, starting Wednesday, we'll see just a few more showers, but the highest concentration will still be along and east of the I-75 corridor.